Right, and... There it goes. Except you can't see it yet. Hold on. Got it. Okay. Guess it's gonna have to go like this. Press start. Which key is start? Apparently it thinks I have a controller. Aha! Chains. Oh wait. It looks like they pull things out. Yeah. Hmm. Somebody's has a very interesting game of Tetris going here. Non-standard. Uh let's just let's just jump in. Chapter one Underground Chapter complete This is all chapter one? Oh okay. I guess they're gonna be short Super Meat Boy type chapters, eh? The watcher awoke in a distant past. I see. Well, that's nice. So, time travel? Or he's just really old and this is the distant past? I'm betting time travel. And by the powers of fire and ice, he ravaged the lost planet, which was once home to the Guardians. Not the Guardians of the Galaxy! The south was burned by the heat. They've been through enough, haven't they? Haven't they? Froze to death. Okay. The shields of the north and of the south protected the Watcher from anyone who dared to resist. Okay. The Watcher is the bad guy. Gotcha. Only one survived his rage, imprisoned in the infinite depths of a lost planet. The last guardian is now the only one who remains to challenge the Watcher. You know, it's okay. You can have this planet. You can have the lost planet. We'll just go live someplace Exhausted else, okay? Imprisonment. The last Guardian has to regain his strength to unchain. Tap space on the keyboard or the A button on the Xbox controller to jump. The fourth wall just went bye-bye. Oh, is this what I am? Chains. Hmm. Okay. Do I have a wall jump? I have no wall jump. Alright, fine. Let's just go. If I have other things, it'll probably tutorial them all to me. Are these prison cells? I think these are doors, but they don't open. What is with these crazy ass fa- Oh, they're on the foreground. I got third dimension. Alright, I can't interact with the fans, but they're not gonna chop my head off either. Okay. Hold the jump button to jump higher. Okay. That's been standard since the original Super Mario Brothers. Shouldn't have had to tell me that. Aha! Okay, the ones down there didn't hurt me, but this one is in the same ground as me, so... Yep! And you put me back at the start of the stage every single time. No checkpoints! Alright. Well, we're learning. Alright. Jump and run. Is there a run button? Uh, not that I can fi- Ah, fork. Okay, that was weird. Okay, when I push- Oh my gosh, I seem to have lost control. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, it does not like when I push alt. I don't know what alt does, but the game really hates it. I'm not pushing alt and tab. It's just the alt key by itself. Let's try not to push that again. So, uh, was all this three-dimensionalness really necessary for this game? I mean, I don't want to argue with your aesthetics any, but... Seems like a good way to hog processor power. But I don't think it's really necessary, because this is true 3D. Could have probably done what Donkey Kong Country and Super Mario RPG did and have not real 3D. But just create the illusion of it. This energy slowly coming back and accelerates to cross the divide. Hold shift on the keyboard or the right trigger on the Xbox controller to speed up. Oh, okay, now I can run. Alright. Huh. But yeah, you're making this all real 3D. <laughs> oh well. Speeding up always works whether the guardian is midair or on the ground. I'm going to adjust my volume. The guardian's powers grow stronger and allow him to jump midair. Press the jump button again at any time while midair. You know, I'd appreciate it if I could have found these powers for myself, but you had them all turned off. They only appear as the tutorial gives them to me. Alright, so we're dealing with the ability to run and double jump. Alright. So, unless you give me some unique gimmick, which I'm still waiting for it to drop if it does, this is fairly bog standard abilities, but... It'll live or die by its level design. I mean, Donkey Kong Country... <laughs> well, I, Miyamoto himself thought that it was terrible when he saw it designed. And then it's like one of the greatest games ever, and it's all the stage design. Like, it's all in the stage design. There's nothing interesting about Donkey Kong or Diddy Kong's moveset compared to other platformers. It just had the best stages. The Guardian regains the power to jump off walls. Press the jump button while he is attached to a wall. The very first thing I checked for that the game was just like, no, you don't get that. To climb a wall, push the move stick or button toward the wall. Then double jump. Uh-huh. Like to I'm get like I think I'm Mega Man X. Okay. Okay, what else? Gap unlocked. Remember to hold the jump button for a higher jump. Y yes, Th that's that was a mechanic present in the original Super Mario Brothers as I've already mentioned. All right. Oops. Hmm. All right. I'm so jaded after all my years of playing video games. <laughs> oh dear. All right. Is that a cross? That's a cross. Am I gonna fight vampires? To hold the acceleration button to jump further. Well, I would assume so. Alright. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. There we go. Ah, fork! And I just got through this jump. All right. All right. Oops. Ah. All right. Ah, fork. Got a double jump there. All right. No, no, I double jumped. I swear, I pushed the space bar again. Ah. 
Okay. Now I just gotta get to there. I mean, obviously. My brilliant and insightful commentary, as usual. Slider man? What? Okay. Oops. Shit. Okay. Uh, my pinky's on the, uh, on the run button, which is shift. Which should be natural, but somehow feels a tiny bit awkward. I, I don't know. It just does. What can I say? To slide down a wall slowly, push the move stick or button to roll the wall. You don't say! If you really thought that you had to explain that to us, you should have put that in before the wall jump. Or just watched Ego Raptor's uh, video on Mega Man X. Uh, yeah, you, you should watch Ego Raptor's video on the design of Mega Man X. It's brilliant. Sequelitis, that's what it's called. Yeah. There should be collectibles or secrets or something in these stages. Oh, well, I mean, we are still in the tutorial, so... The Guardian resists gravity and attaches himself to the ceiling by holding the jump button. Oh. Okay. Alright. That could be interesting. Though it makes me think of Donkey Kong Country Returns with the viney ceilings. But hey, you know, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's it's a good mechanic. Shit. Alright. Oops, right, hold it down. Let go, jump again, because it'll let me double jump off. Okay. See, double jump plus a wall jump. Ah, fuck. Double jump plus a wall jump plus don't let go like a fool. Okay. Alright, what you got for me now? Are we out of the tutorials yet? Morgan? What? Oh, a new obstacle. Wait, how's that any different from the gears? I mean, functionally. It's still a ball of insta-death. So what's it matter if it's a wheel or a bunch of spikes? Does it does it have a different behavior? Anything? No. It just looks a little different. But it's functionally the same obstacle. Okay. Okay, that's a little bit more interesting. Although it could have still just been the wheels for all intents and purposes. If you're gonna spend your valuable game, your valuable game development budget on visuals, you should, I don't know, have a reason to. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> yeah, I can be a hard critic on a poor indie game. Oh, shit. Okay, I can't jump over that. Start over. You gotta figure out how to get over that obstacle. And your punishment for not guessing the correct trick to get over it is... Shit. Start over. And proceed to make the same mistakes five times, because... Because, of course... That, that's also part of your punishment. We know you're gonna do it. No, I can't. I can wall jump over it, maybe. Or just try to go under. Ah, uh, shit. Alright. Alright. I guess that's what I was supposed to do, huh? My fault for trying to be more creative. Okay, why is the death balls even underneath, or the death wheels even underneath my platforms? Are you lot contributing anything down there? Also, I think I'm playing as Alpha from the Power Rangers. I'm not sure. I haven't taken a real close look at me yet, but... Look suspiciously like I should be screaming, I I I I I. Alright, what do we got now? 
Except I've been been irradiated pretty heavily because I glow in the dark now. Super bowling? Ooh, are we gonna get an attack ability? I don't believe it. I don't think this game has enemies. If it did, you'd have trotted one out by now. Ah, fuck. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Little tappy jump. Alright, where are you going? Oh, I see how it is. You're not a platform at all. You're a hazard. Shit. Go away. Go away, please. Right, I have a ridiculous amount of mobility. There's the potential to make some very interesting obstacles out of this. I wonder what Zephyr Burst would do with a move set like this. Probably something that would make me wish I had never been born. <laughs> okay. Morgan Stern. Okay. If you say so. Cliffhanger. I think I'm out of the tutorial. These obstacles really are making me think of the Distorted Travesty series, and I don't know why. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, I see. I forgot the head, the 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 magna ceiling. Okay. Attached to the magna ceiling, and oh shit! Oh, almost. Bowling. Uh, this doesn't really feel like a bowling alley to me. Now, if these balls were crashing into into well into something that was pin-like, that was like a bunch of pins, then I'd be like, oh yeah, this is totally bowling. Ah, oh, my pinky's starting to hate this, holding down the run button perpetually because you're never gonna take it off the run button. You're never gonna decide, you know what? I want to stop running unless you run into an obstacle that forces it. <laughs> I mean, that's why games eventually started making rock but walk buttons instead of run buttons. All right, I shifted my hand slightly. This may impair my ability to play, but I've got a different finger. Is okay. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see the exit there. I was like plotting my next move. <laughs> Laser line. Okay, do we got a new? Oh. Oh, hello. Ah, fuck. Oh. Oh, I, I can't actually jump up onto any of those. Oh, okay. They're in the background. My eternal war against... What is in the background? What is in the foreground? Okay, I guess that's the laser there. Hiding behind a wheel for no particular reason. Okay. Alright. Ah. <sighs> Fork! Why do you make these stages so freaking long? Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting kind of impatient with this stage because of the long, long, long areas. Okay, there we go. Woo! What do you got for me? You better run unlocked. You better run. Oh, I see. Okay. <gasps> Oops. Oops. Oh, just, uh, oh, I see. Uh, oh, okay. You know what I need to do? I need to be right here. Ah, fork. <sighs> I'm 
not reacting quite fast enough. I see. Okay. Alright. Okay, all right, and back down the tube. Yeah, Distorted Travesty 2 in particular. All right, I should play that game again. <laughs> There's levels that were added that I never got to see because I played it before they were put in. Stop and go. Okay, we're playing red light, green light. Where are we playing red light, green light? I just go up through those between those two gears. No. Oops, too fast. Crap, I'm too fast. Okay. All right. All right, what you got for me now? Bloody swing. I somehow doubt it. I don't see any blood. Or did you mean bloody as in you were swearing? You were British and wanting to say the most vulgar thing you could think of. <laughs> I don't see any actual blood blood. Ooh, fork! Uh, I realized what was happening a second too late. Shit. I'm too impatient. Gotta take it slow and easy, except when I need to be running it like a lunatic. Okay. Alright. Over! Oh, fork! I did it again. Ah, shit. Patience. This is a game about patience. Not too much patience. Too much patience will also get you killed. It's a game about having just the correct amount of patience. The Goldilocks of patience. And from one room to the next, they change the amount that they expect. Punishment for not knowing what time it, the exact timing we were expecting for this room you just entered for the first time is Go back to start and do it all over again Fuck. Ah all right. Woo. I thought for sure I was dead that time huh. Oh I got it I slipped again. <sighs> I think I go back to the first thing I said. You know what? I think the Watcher can just keep this world. We'll just uh, we'll go someplace else. I mean, look, he's got all his stuff here. He's clearly moved in. I mean, we'd have to redecorate the whole place if we evicted him. And I mean, that 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 just sounds like that would be a pain. So uh, we'll just we'll just move to the next planet over, the remembered planet. Okay, I gotta go as fast as I can. Ah! Die now. Okay. Let's 
See, this is really good stage design here. Because it's still dangerous. You still feel you're in danger, but you've made it over all that terrible crap. You're like, no, no, I really don't want to die and start over. So the different danger level actually goes down, but your tension level rises because you don't want to have to redo all that shit. That one was well, well made. What, what, what was the name of this one? I didn't quite catch it. Oh, well. What? Oh, I think I see what it wants. I think I get it. You know, you know, there's light peeking out of those walls. What if we just went back outside? I bet it's, you know, I bet, I bet there'd be a path that'd be a heck of a lot e oh, easier than this. All right, I think I see what I need to do. Ah, fork. <sighs> All right, I think I see how this one's supposed to go. There's something up above me. I don't know what it is, but there's definitely more ups. There's definitely a third story to this. Oh! Oh, I see. Oh my gosh, uh, there's more? Why is there more? Oh, there it is. No. No, I don't wanna. Why is this even over here? This platform and this thing here. There was another way up, wasn't there? I didn't do things the way I was supposed to. The way it was supposed that I would when they designed this stage. Screw it. I like my solution more. Fork. Okay. No. No death. No death for me this day. Alright, the way I'm supposed to do it. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, the way I'm supposed to do it. Since this is... Oh my gosh. I think... Okay. Since that's obviously what I'm going to have to do to get over the next one. Okay. Somehow... Fork! Well, I thought maybe I could, but no, I cannot. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. I'll fork. Sometimes it's the simple hazards that rack up the most kills. Like a hole in the floor. Or not having a floor. Supposed to be here. No, no, I'm supposed to be here. Uh, okay. Oh my gosh, how the hell am I supposed to do this? Okay, I think I see what I'm supposed to do. All right, we'll try it. finally get to Zordon, I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. Ah, come on! Why is that gear even there? Is that gear even necessary? 
What's this place supposed to be producing anyway? Is this what the inside of Big Ben looks like? I did not mean to do that. Ugh. Oops. Shit. Okay. Why am I so slippery? I'm not playing a piece of meat. I'm playing a piece of greased butter. No, not really. I think the controls are fine. I'm just playing badly for some reason. played games where it felt like I was steering a whale. This is not one of them. <laughs> but clearly my capacity to make basic maneuvers is degrading along with my patience. And the rule is when you start playing worse and worse in a game like this, in a skill-based game of this sort, what you're supposed to do is walk away and come back later. I'm gonna fit, but I have to finish this stage first! Stupid, stupid stage. Alright. Oh my gosh, come on, I did it perfectly that one time. Alright, alright, alright. Wait, and yes! Not quite so, yes. Yes! Alright, so what I'm gonna have to do. See, this one's not so well perfectly de designed because it puts the hard thing at the end. <laughs> so you have to go through the whole level every time you fail at the last second. Parkour. Unlo all right, all right, I've unlocked a boss. This doesn't look like a boss. Oops, okay, hold on. Doesn't feel like parkour. Ah, fuck. Alright, faster and faster we go. Ah, my gosh. This challenge is stupid. Okay, there's a head thing there. I see it now. It's right in front of me, but with all the glowy colors and things, it kind of blends in. Yeah, 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 that's right there. I wonder what happened if I just tried to climb vertically instead. I'm wondering if the, all the 3D-ness is the reason the stages can't be fork. I should have gone down. The reason the stages are small-ish. just caught it. If I just caught that edge, I don't think I'm supposed to. But it's there, so it's possible. Fork. I should just try to go up again. Maybe the secret was that these wheels were the bosses the whole time. Oh my gosh! I just... Maybe I could try jumping out. Yeah. Nope, that's not a platform. That's a window in the background. That white box was not something to stand on. My mistake. Why would it be? Shit. Alright. Here goes. We're gonna get it this time. This is the one. No, I mean this, um, um, maybe I should just keep my mouth shut. <sighs> you think this is bad playing? Pfft, I've only died 95 times, not 5,000 plus. 
like a certain other game. <sighs> it promised me a boss. Ah! Uh, no! 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 I don't need to go the other way. That's okay. We're done here. stage for the reasons I stated previously. Okay, what was this about a boss? That's not a boss. You can't fool me, game. Load next level? What, you can just re just load the next one? Okay. All right, all right, all right. I'm really close to completing the chapter. All, all right. Did I already do this one? I already... No, I didn't. Okay. My, 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 my righteous indig indignation I will put aside. I didn't already do this one. Oh, no. What do I do here? I see, okay. No, no, no. Fuck. Ah. Maybe I'm a little bit slippery, okay? Oh my gosh! Achievement unlocked! Die and error! Well, thank you! I guess that was my 100 deaths. Wouldn't it be an achievement to go through the game and not unlock all of the you died so many times? And I could have just jumped over that. Oh my gosh. This is so much stupidly easier than what I thought I needed to do. Because I played games where I was expected to do the hanging on the side thing. Oh well, when they inevitably pull that trick, I'll have had practice! Except I'm only doing like one more stage after this because, yeah, I'm just finishing this area. Okay. I... Okay. Oh! Oh, I see. Advancing Wall of Doom. A test of everything we've learned so far. So... This is the boss. Oh. Uh, that was stupid of me. Really stupid of me. Uh, no! Uh. Alright. Nah, 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 you can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread robot or something. I I'm not really sure what I am, actually. But I know that you can't catch me! Because I'll kill myself on the lasers every time before you reach me. Ha ha. I kill steel myself! Oh, shit. Huh? Oh, that's just a dick thing to do. Why'd you put that there? So, my ops, I'm, I'm running as fast as I can, but half the obstacles are timing. So, run as fast as you can, wait. Run as fast as you can, wait. Run as fast, wait. Ah, fuck, I did that thing again. And don't forget to let, to, to let go of the walls. I guess this is the appropriate boss for this game. And for Run Man, Race Around the World. That's a great game. Oh, no! No, go away! Ah! 
Further than ever before after that huge chunk of being so close. Is this wall rubber banding? I can't, I can't tell. It might, shit, let go! Ah. I, I, I think it is, but I, I'm not sure. Either way, it's a constant threat. Maybe it's not. I guess it isn't. No, wait, I think it is. I can't make up my mind. Yeah. I guess it's not. Ah! All right. You want to spit more story at me, or? Okay, we're out of the prison. Chapter two is the South. I see. We'll poke one. The last guardian regained his strength and escaped from the infinite depths of the lost world. Yeah, yeah, I was there. I to did that. The watcher, he must first deactivate the shields impeding his Do path. I do I want to destroy the watcher? Leaving his underground prison, new dangers awaited him. Why did the watcher imprison me? Why not just murder me? He had the means. Plenty of them. Oh well. Hmm. A new obstacle. Oops. Shit. Okay, hold on. We're just looking around for a second. Look at the background that's reactive. Hmm. I don't even know what the stage expects me to do. I guess I, it's supposed to go in there. Huh? Oh. Interesting. Okay, Donkey Kong Country Barrels. Got it. I wonder what other mechanics show up later. Hmm. Wasn't expecting it to stop like that, though now I see the track end, so it's obvious. Alright. Well, maybe this is something out of Sonic the Hedgehog, I'm not sure. Woo! Ah. Okay, this really feels like something out of Destroyer Travesty 2. I don't know why exactly. I mean, I do know why, because he did that exact kind of crap all the time. <sighs> okay, anyway. So, this is one watcher. Presumably, it gets harder and introduces more mechanics as it goes. Uh, the first area is fine. Oh. Hmm. I'm trying to evaluate exactly how much I like it and what I think of it. I actually would give this kind of a middle of the road rating as far as a Meat Boy type. Is that is that a classification of platformers? Meat Boy clash pl class platformers go. I'd say this is. This is all right. Maybe there's some spectacularly special thing that I'd only see if I went one stage further. I don't know, but I have other things I must attend to tonight. So, um, it exists. It's on Steam. If this seems like your cup of tea, then uh, I think it was like ten bucks, and nobody's ever seemed to have heard of it before. <laughs> The four games only got like two reviews uh, on Steam. There's a lot of indie games like that, though. It happens all the time. So, if this had come out, if this had come out 20 years ago, this would have been heralded as amazing. 
if this had come out, you know, in the Super Nintendo era, this would have been considered a great game. But it comes out nowadays on Steam, where we are so buried, we are so spoiled for choice, that it just goes completely under the radar. I think what I appreciate most about this is how tiny the character sprite, and th that might sound like a really weird thing to say, but... You ever play a game with a, that expects precision platforming with a really large character sprite trying to dodge the obstacles? But having this really tiny one lets you see a good distance ahead and lets you feel like you're moving at a pretty, pretty good speed, actually. Um, the character feels fast. So... I'm personally not a big fan of 3D graphics, as if that wasn't abundantly clear. Like, like they have their place. There's some games that are amazing with them. There are games that do a great job. With it. But for a 2D platformer, I guess I should be specific. I'm not a big fan of 3D graphics in a 2D game, in a, in a 2D platformer. I find it makes it more difficult for me to tell what's going on sometimes. Part of that's probably the colors. Though the sprite is, always stands out. It might not look very impressive, but making it a unique color. I never, ever lose track of my sprite. I can't say the same about every game I've ever played in that regard, but... <laughs> so... Hmm... Yeah. Anyway, that is all. So, until next time and every time... This is Hadrix, signing off. Bye.